BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Pacific Toyota Dealers, Yamaha, BC Outdoors Magazine, Rapala, Duncan B. Lodge, Port Boathouse, Lowrance, Mayhem Fly Fishing. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Well, we got a special show today. We're up at Murphy Sport Fishing. Dave, first of all, thanks for having us up oh, again. Thank you. It's awesome. Kyle, welcome to the show. Kyle Bryan from, we're going to say Normark, Canada, yeah. but there's a whole bunch of brands associated with that, including Rapala, VMC, Lure Jensen, Blue Fox, um, Storm, Gamagatsu, Suffix. Yeah. All, all the good stuff that we get to use on the show. Absolutely. So I'm the BC rep and yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. A beautiful spot, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, first time here. First time here. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed. It's unreal. Dave, so let's let everybody know where whereabouts you are, just general okay. drive time from Nanaimo sure. and then what we're going to sure. do. Five hours from Campbell River. Yeah. Or sorry, five hours from Nanaimo. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're northwestern Vancouver Island. We're just south of the Brooks Peninsula. Yep. Right? And we're about 100 miles north of Ukulit. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. It's pretty much the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It's our last frontier, I guess. Okay, I'm excited. What's going on up here? Because there's uh, always good fishing up here. You know, I've had a really good season yeah. this year. It's good. been just lots of Chinooks, you yeah. know, lots of alleys, lots of lingcod. Cool. Coho fishing's been hot. Yeah. Yeah, coho fishing is really good right Yeah, now. we're a little later in the season, so we're going to we're gonna target some, what? What do I hear? Rumors on the dock of some coho, coho fishing? Coho, coho for sure. We're, we're August 26th, we should. Yeah. That's when we're filming this. So. Yeah. That's good. And coho, so we'll go to a coho show tonight, yeah. get some coho tonight, and then we'll Hopefully. chase some other fish tomorrow morning, and then yeah. and then go from there. Yeah, we'll, we'll play the weather, and we'll play our... It'll be good. You're yeah. gonna have fun. Every time it's different, right? All right. And I don't even have big red up here, so sorry. Another time, but we're gonna get to fish in your boat, which is dialed right in as well. Yeah, that's no, good. So we're good. It's everything, but it's good. That's it's right. awesome. No yeah. Yamaha 425, but oh, it's okay. You got two 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 hundreds on there. It's good enough. Yeah. We'll get there. We good. Let's hop in the boat. And let's go fish. Let's go. Okay. What's on that one, Dave? What's on that? <laughs> That's awesome. quick. What do you want side you want to do? You're up. <laughs> hey, honor, bro. Flash a pop. There he is. Like me. 
official power of DC Outdoors Sport Fishing TV. Yamaha. Conquer water. Closed captioning brought to you by the world famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful Rivers Inlet, BC. Still your fish, bud. Sorry. It's all good, man. All right, you're up next. There you go. Nice one. Oh, oh we got there triple, we got tri triple, 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 triple. Right here, too. Dave, you're up. <laughs> What'd you say, Dave? We should get one? We should get one. But oh, we had three there. Yeah, three. Oh, there we go. Top. Oh, back, back, back. Top. Oh, 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 shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, we got rods dropping everywhere. <laughs> one I might get back to you, Dave. I might keep the spinning rod one for myself. Yeah. That's a nice fish, Kyle. Yeah! Play this one? Oh, come on. Hang on, hang on. Wait. We'll flip, flip, we should flip that one off there. Here. Give me this. You take this one too. <laughs> this is this is awesome. This fight here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, 
nice. Check awesome. your leaders. We'll be right back. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. He's on. Nice one. On the turn. <laughs> what you got there, Dave? Uh, uh, Some sort of salmonoid? Salmon, I can't tell yet, but it's just going to get going here. Let's get a double up. Let's get a double. Let's take a line? Yeah. Nice. It's a nice one. There we go. There he goes. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah. That's nice. a good one. Yeah. yeah. So a little catch up. We decided to go salmon fishing. Yeah. Day two. Day two out here. What an awesome evening last night coho fishing. Now we're chasing some Chinook a little further out. And of course, up until recently, this area was closed for a while, wasn't it? Uh, well, it's been over for a month and a half yeah. now, so. But they still had the DFO had the decision to make a closure out here and then open it up once the stocks had passed through. Stocks of concern, they call it, isn't it, Dave? Yes. <laughs> These are primary uh, ball, ball Fraser fish, yeah. uh, Puget Sound, Columbia River. Yeah. We got this. This nice. fishing's a lot of work. It Holy. is. And yeah, normally you're just running the boat, barking yeah. instructions. I'm a better boat driver. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, stand up. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. It's a ways down too. We're fishing pretty deep here, aren't we? Yeah, so we're fishing 195 feet. And so one of the things that, that, that I've learned from you over the years is when we're fishing deeper water like this, you like to put enough Big, big, big uh, chunk of braid that goes in the yeah. middle between the mono and stuff. So maybe during our learning with the pros, we'll do a segment on that. Sure, we'll have to do that properly yeah, and, and the reasoning why behind it. But it's it's actually kind of neat with the with the extra less stress or less stretch is what we're looking for, right? Yeah, just so you can see those small fish biting. Yeah. Right, especially when you're offshore. There's a lot of midwater caught. It's yeah. Not on the bottom. Yeah. So you could be dragging around a fish that's you know, yeah. six or seven inches long and not. Yeah. Long, yeah. Right. Learning with the Pros, brought to you by BC Outdoors Magazine. Hi everybody, I'm David Murphy and uh, on this week's uh, Learning with the Pros, I'm going to show you about uh, using top shots when you're trolling deep for salmon. Uh, so today's episode, um, we were using the Lure Jensen Reel. Uh, we had about 100 feet of mono and behind that we have braid and I have about 300 feet of braid or so. And what I want to show you is how we connect the braid to the mono. Right? And the reason that we, we do the top shot is that at that deep depth, right, there's a lot of small fish, undesirables, that you can't really detect with mono. And with the braid having zero stretch, right, it shows up at the, it shows up at the surface. So we know when we have a shaker or a small fish. Um, you can't go braid right to the flasher or your lure. It's because with no stretch, you're pulling directly on the fish. You need that little bit of mono to stretch it out. And also, the, the release clip, the Scotty release clip, grips the mono much better than the braid. Right? If you just use the braid, it tends to slip out, so you need that mono top shot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to attach any braid to any mono with a very simple knot. It's called the Albright knot, and it just, just goes like this. So we're going to pretend that this is coming from our rod, right? and we're going to attach our mono. Now the braid can be 40 to 80 pounds, and our mono can be 20 to 40 pounds, depending on whatever you like. So this knot is called an Albright knot. So you take your top shot mono, you make a loop, Take your braid, come from under the bottom, and now we're just going to wind it back over itself. It's minimum eight turns, maximum probably 15 turns, whatever you feel comfortable with. And this is a very simple knot. Okay, here we go, so we have our turns. Okay, coming back, remember we put our, put our braid up through the knot. We're going to take the tag end and we're going to go back through in the very same direction. That's really important. Okay. 
And then all we're going to do is we're just going to slide those loops together and it's going to bite right at the top of the knot. And then all you have to do is trim each end. Now if you're doing this at home and not out on the water and you have lots of time, a little bit of Zappa Gap or Crazy Glue is a really good idea. You just drop it on there and that, it, it doesn't, it gives you a little bit of peace of mind that that will never slip, but I've personally never had that come undone. So this is the way to do it. Now you're going to do that on both ends, right? You can add the braid in the middle um, or, you can, or you can have the whole reel full of braid, right? But the, that's a little bit pricey. So, and some of the reels now hold so much line that you can literally put mono, 300 feet of braid, and then mono top shot, right? Generally, fish will run 100 yards or so. Um, so you don't need that whole, whole reel full of, full of braid that you're probably never going to see again in your lifetime. Um, and I recommend if you're fishing every day, replace the top shot about every two weeks or so. And for the length, if, if you want the, the ultimate experience of, of fish battle, right, you would use a top shot of 30 to 50 feet. Um, if you're new to fishing or kind of a weekend warrior, you might want to use about 100 feet. And the reason that is, is the, the longer the line, the more stretch, right? The less you're pulling on the hook on that fish, so you have a better shot at landing those fish. For more tips like these, uh, check out next week's episode or join us online. This is a nice fish, Kyle. Got him? Yeah, good work. Hey! Right. Yeah. Red spring. Put him in the box. How do you know it's a red spring, Dave? Uh, just because of the look. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, sounds good. There's a big new wave of fish here, right guys? I just called one of the boats, he's three miles west of us there, to yeah. come here because it's on, and uh, he said it's on there too. Nice. Okay, Kyle, no pressure. There you go. <laughs> back. Nice. There you go. That's hot. It's just starting. Look at that. So, just when they start tearing the paint off, that's when it starts to become. <laughs> and now, here's a look at today's tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're going to talk about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, the rods of choice today were the classic moochers, this is the medium light action, 10 and a half foot. I've been using these things for probably the last six or seven years, maybe eight years, who knows. It's been, it's been a good, good, good run with these rods. Uh, the reels are brand new, these are the Lure Jensen Legacy Series, um, great for these UV handled. I had it a couple times today where the fish decided to go and I didn't mention it to you guys but I got dusted pretty good and thank god they're soft handled, Yeah, a mistake there, right? Uh, the line is 25 pounds suffix. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about this, this setup here. So we were also, uh, with the coho, we had a spinning rod setup, right? Yeah, so this is the new Lure Jensen uh, Legacy Series. This is a eight foot six medium heavy rod. Uh, we mm -hmm. paired it up with the 2500 uh, Rapalette Delta reel. And it, it was great off the rigger, yeah. uh, just trolling it behind for, for coho. Yeah, and the line, of course, this is, this is suffix, right? This is the camel line, I believe, right? Yeah, this is uh, 40 pound, 832 suffix. Cool. Okay. So we switched over, uh, ran some plugs on, on the spinning gear, but we were running flashers and spoons on, uh, on, the, on the mooching rod setups today too. Mm -hmm. So the flashers, again, these are two of my standbys. I mean, if you see my boat, you will know that these are on. So yeah. double black glow, and of course the, uh, the, this is the white UV flasher too, right? And these two are my standbys everywhere I go. I fish those for sure too. Yep. So today, uh, two, diff two different spoons I haven't fished before. Um, and they, they produce, like we can see the paint coming off and the scarring of the teeth and, and they did their jobs today. Yeah, well that's what happens when you, when you get a dozen fish to the boat. So uh, the sardine, three and a half, coyote, the uh, live image, silver, uh, also known as the, the nickel, nickel holofish, and uh, both performed very well today. 
Um, Dave, well, of course, we've got uh, David added eyes to these because he likes yep. adding eyes to those. So this is not this is not straight out of the package, but David added some eyes to these ones, right? Yeah. And of course, we switched out some of the hooks. We wanted a little bit of a bigger hook on these. Mm -hmm. So we went to the new TechSet Siwash Open Eye from BMC, right? Yeah. So this is a new hook, uh, Open Eye Siwash. It's got a, a technical locking curve, they call mm -hmm. it, a little bit of a sickle bend. It's an offset hook. Uh, with a coastal black finish, which is four times mm -hmm. as corrosion resistant yeah. as regular black nickel. Yeah. And man, it held fish today. You know, we did uh, notice, we, did we talked job. about it though, is, is earlier in the day, we were missing some fish. Mm -hmm. So right away, Dave's like, we need a bigger hook. Yeah. And he put on the bigger hook. And once we got the bigger hook on there, the fish were holding. Yeah. Right? And uh, and it made the difference, right? Yeah. So and then on the, uh, the, the Rapala lures, we ended up putting on uh, inline single hooks, mm -hmm. um, taking off the, the trebles and putting on the inline singles. So worked yeah, out very, very well. Cool. Of course, we got to talk about leader material. This stuff again, I think I've been using this as long as I've had the show. It's 30 pound suffix fluorocarbon. Uh, I swear by this stuff. Like, I use this yeah. for everything I can. If I'm using 30 pound here when I'm trout fishing, I'm using 8 to 10. Uh, we're fly fishing, I'm paring down our leaders down to even 4 pound. Yeah. Right. And I swear by the, the uh, suffix Invisalign fluorocarbon. It's fantastic stuff. And then I'm trying to make you a, a believer. I know you're a little skeptical at times, but you know what? <laughs> if, if, if it's MRF approved, yeah. It's got to be collar proof too. And, and today we're using the Procure Bait Sauce. This is the anchovy, super sticky, sticks to the spoon. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still stuff on here. I said, watch your hands on the back end. If you're going to have something to eat, like, you got to make sure you mm -hmm. wash your hands again. Um, you know what? It's it. What I think what it does is it allows fish to pick out uh, another food source, the smell, and it's a holding power too. I think they don't want to let go. Right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. pretty good. I think it definitely gave us an edge today, just yeah. like using fluorocarbon, just any edge that you can get out on the water, yeah. take advantage of it. Yeah. Hey folks, we're gonna follow up a quick list for you. Also check us out online for a little bit more in-depth gear talk from today's episode. So put it into perspective. So when we got here, one of our boats had four and we started fishing. This is number six and he's still fishing. Yes. So we're doing pretty good. He doesn't have Procure and uh, Coyote spoons. But he's a, he's a rock star, that guy. Go. That's that just shows off the color. Yeah. What a beautiful fish. Oh, that's the best fight of the day, too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that was good. Right? That was good. But bigger awesome. bait, bigger fish, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hardest, yeah. right spot, right time. Yeah, maybe awesome. maybe had to do with somebody know what they were doing out here. Maybe. Yeah. We could have filmed that show live. Yeah, we could have. We had Wi-Fi out here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. All right, well, let's get them yeah. in the box, get them on license, and then we're going to thank you for having us up here. It's been an yeah. absolute fantastic trip. Wow. As usual, come up here and you just... We're lucky, in. you know what, we're lucky together. We, yeah. we do well, we, we are. do really well. And we had to bring Kyle up to show yeah, show, show, him, right? show off, and Kyle brought some new product for us to try, right. which has been awesome. So we got Kyle, thanks for coming out, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me, pleasure. Yeah. Dave. Good work, guys. Yeah, you get a little slimy shake. Okay, Thank I gotta get this way. Thank heavy. you, Getting folks, heavy. for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Look forward to having you join us on a future episode.